A gate stands in the fog, guarded by a rectangle. This rectangle has but one motivation, survival. From the fringes of existence, or draw distance, its foes approach, blood on their minds, swords in their hands, rage in their hearts. If rectangles have hearts. What thought runs through the rectangle's head? Why me? Man, there are lots of enemies. What would the paddle from Pong do? His meditation is broken by the shuffle of approaching... Um... Corners. Blades clash. Projectiles are thrown. Souls are torn from bodies. Justice is doled out one kill at a time. Or so we presume. The only one with the answers is the ghostly figure sitting atop the gate. And it's content to share with you only the number of dead, the number of chances you have remaining, and the count of shuriken you're currently holding. Alright, enough waxing poetic. I'm starting to get build up. This is Hypotenuse, a game that plays like an Akira Kurosawa epic battle, looks like a Dire Straits video, and is seemingly set in that room in Ocarina of Time's Water Temple where you fight Shadow Link. It's a cute little challenge and doesn't take pity on you at all. You'll fight foes until you take four hits, at which point it's game over. The controls are fairly basic. You've got a jump button, a sword button, a guard button, and a shuriken button, as well as your standard two-stick move camera tandem and a lock-on function on the right trigger. Unfortunately, despite the simplicity of it all, the lock feature doesn't seem to interact with the camera and can only designate the nearest foe, who might be behind said camera. Waiting. Blade drawn. But for an indie game, man, does this look good. Stage is set well, that is to say, completely barren except for the rectangular bodies of your foes piled up all over the place in various numbers of pieces. The sound is minimalist, with a lone shamisen plucking out notes to a tune and tempo I can't place at all. Heck, it might be generated by a randomizing algorithm, which would be pretty cool. You're not listening to the music anyway, you're watching for assailants from the foggy abyss, confronting them, and cutting them in half. It's a simple survival toy, one that makes perfect sense being released for a buck on the XBLA Indie channel, and that I kinda wish I could take with me on my phone if it weren't for the exacting control this game requires. The mere thought of adapting this to a touchscreen makes blood run out my ears. Not all rectangles are created equal. For everything else, there's the 3DS. Get on it, I am Reese, or however that's supposed to be pronounced. <laughs> 